being out on the open ocean with no land in sight and having limited resources can be a scary experience for most. But for an up-and-coming navigator, the scary part is learning how to become a leader in this kind of environment. It was a little uncomfortable for me when <coughs> Robert or Nainoa would say, what do you think? True, yeah, tell me your ideas. Like, what do you not think not about this? It's in law. So you bring it down. So you moving it to the left one house. It would be, which one? Not like, so how many more houses is it away from Noyo? For so long, I would just be so timid and shy, saying, what do I have to contribute? Why should anyone listen to your voice? Slowly, I'm, I'm realizing that people do want to hear what young people are interested in, because we will inherit the earth. I'm invested, I'm, I'm, I'm committed to, to young people today, because that is what is going to define what tomorrow is going to look like. Nainoa speaks from first-hand experience about the importance of having strong mentors. I'm like the luckiest person on the planet Earth that had, had the Herb Kanes and the Mao Pi Lugs and the Eddie I Cows and, and the greatest navigator that I know in my life is my father. And so I, I take what I have and, um, and I take the gifts of the training and navigation and, and I, I create the opportunity for someone to take it, take it from me. Where's the Noyo line? How do you start from a place you don't know? His ike, or knowledge, is now in Jenna's hands and in the hands of many others who fall under his teachings. Together, they continue to prepare for the day they open their sails into a new direction, a journey around the world. If someone's going to invest in me all this knowledge of the physical act of navigation, what comes with it are the values of leading your community, of being that kind person. And so that's all I can take with me is that, yes, we're learning how to navigate, but it's far bigger than a trip to Tahiti. It's now we're going to have relationships with people wherever we go, and we're going to be looked at to take leadership roles. And we'll learn and we'll, we'll change, of course, but that's my biggest anxiety, that we have this much time to do a thousand things. And how do you prioritize and what, what moves to the top? All that piece about the navigation, to me, it teaches that connection to nature. It teaches uh, perseverance. It teaches young people to be willing to take risk. It, it teaches young people to train and prepare to find their destination. It helps understand the power of vision um, and it makes people work together. Uh, you have to come together on a canoe and, 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 it, and it teaches leadership. Our leadership is so focused on who will lead this canoe, who will lead Hawaii um, in the next 50, 100 years. I just want to make sure we do it right. We have one chance. And it's not like we can just practice in the Pacific and then it's going to get better the next year and better the next year. But what the Pacific can and will provide is one of the most important lessons any navigator could learn. That allows our young people to be deeply grounded in this land and in this ocean and who they are. Linked to their ancestry and proud of it and comfortable with it and moving with it and yet still have the kind of education that can take them anywhere in the world.